In this video, we are going to learn about how you can basically set up the SDK and DK JDK for Unreal Engine 5.0.3 and also we will learn that which type of component we need to set up our Android export completely. The first requirement is you need to go to Epic and then you need to download the Unreal Engine Android component. Just go to library then go to just press this button then go to option and scroll down and make sure you download this targeted platform dot android okay so if you also want to export for iOS, so you can select this if you want some other platform you can choose that but for now we are only showing the android one so at here for android you need to just make sure that you take that then click on apply once you're done the second requirement is you need to download visual studio 2019 version that is community version you can use and make sure lots of user uh, question me that uh, bro can we use 2020-22 also no brother you can't use because there's an issue in 2022 because the 2022 still in build kind of like early access of unreal engine okay so it still have lots of issue and for unreal engine android export there's a lots of thing and terminal we need that which is still not available in 2022 version community version so we need to use the visual studio 2000 to, uh, 2019 okay and make sure at here you need to just download some modify components so once you download like basics you can go to modify section and i'm just showing you that what i download i didn't download lots of stuff i downloaded just only one two components one is unreal engine game uh, game development with c plus plus because unreal engine is a c plus plus engine but it's, it's it's also have you know blueprint codes so just click on that and at here you need to download the windows sdk 11 uh, if you're using uh, Windows 11, that's why. Uh, in my case, I'm using Windows 11. And then, if you have Windows 10, you can choose that too. But I recommend to you choose both one. And then, at here you find that Android Engine Installer. Make sure you tick that. The second is Android IDE support for Unreal Engine. Make sure that you click this too. Then you don't need to download any other component. Just click on simply that download and install. Once you download and install then the third okay the third requirement is you need to download the android studio 4.0 also you can download the 3.5.3 so let me show you why you find that so you need to just search that android studio old version make sure the last version is maybe more than now 5 point something i don't use android studio too much so i don't know the, which one is last version but uh, you need to use the 4.0 uh, 4.0 or you can use some more old version that is 3.5.3 so once you come like this you need to just go to this website this is official from android studio then just scroll down and once you scroll down you find at here that may 28 2020 you find this that android studio 4.0 so you can download the windows 12 64 bit or you can even download the uh, zip file also if you want once you download, you need to simply install that in your C disk or, you, or in your C drive, not any other disks. Like lots of you, what you do that we try to set up some like you have more space. Like just look, I have lots of in my CD uh, in my C drive. This is a uh, NVM uh, one terabyte, okay, or us, and I have more like this is SD. This is also uh, this is uh, yeah this is also sd this is also sd this is uh, hsd so i have lots of storage so if you also have multiple storage like me so you can choose like this like this like this you can choose but there's a issue come when you try to compile that there's a issue that they'll be unreal and tell you that sdk missing or blah 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 ndk missing so for fixing that issue make sure you download that in by default location that is c drive okay then you need to once you install you need to just click on config so on config just uh, go to sdk manager on sdk manager you need to download now some stuff as you can see my default location is sdk on c drive user slash user app data slash local then android then sdk at here i downloaded the android component android 10.r okay then i downloaded android 5.0 that is lollipop version and then Android 4.44 KitKat version. This is the most lowest, and this is the lastest. Uh, I don't recommend to install now the Android API 33 or some previewer, okay? Because they have issue. So for now, don't download that component. Just download this thing. Even it's work even Android 12 also. So don't need to worry. Then once you do like this, then you need to go to SDK Tools, SDK Tools, and then you need to 
uh, open this that show package details and here you need to download just to these two things that is 29.0.2 that is android sdk builder tool then you need to download the 28.0.3 just tick okay nothing else just click on tick then scroll down and then you need to download the ndk side by side that is 21.1.6352462 once you down uh, click on this then you need to download this all command line so just tick on that you need all of the command line then you need the CMaker. At CMaker, you need to download the, download the 3.10.2.4988404. And then others is by default, it will automatically come. So then click on apply, OK, and download. Once you download, your third requirement is also done. Now you need to do the fourth number requirement. That is, you need to download the JDK. The JDK is or from Oracle no that is a branded company and they provide branded stuff and you need to download there also some oldest uh, jdk i don't know why i'm really need, always prefer the oldest stuff not a lasso's stuff however uh you need to download this that java se runtime environment 8u311 you can download even 311 also you can download 301 like if you scroll some more let me show you uh there's a three uh, yeah you can also download this one too like 8u301 i prefer you to download this one because this one has oldest and you know until it's about all stuff very goodly that's why you need to download this one i recommend to uh, install this one and actually what you need to do just click on download windows 64 install also make sure it's have lock it's mean that you need to create a account in oracle once you create the account then log in with your account then you need you can download that or otherwise you can't download the jdk once you install uh, the software, just install by default. You find lots of YouTube tutorials, don't need to do lots of stuff. And then, once you do everything, then you need to go to your environment variable. So, just search here that en environment and variables. And at here, you need to just do setup like me, like how I did. That first is Java Home. So, the first Java Home, you need to give that JDK bin you, need to, you can go to edit then you can go to c drive program slash java slash jdk 1.3 bin and now you have question bro i found this path location in my computer so let me show you so just open your pc or your fire explorer whatever it is then go to c drive then go to program web lots of also have some issue that uh, for there they don't find the app data okay that is hidden file data so you can go to view uh, sorry you can go to this more option there should be option uh, uh let me go to properties uh why is that go Some of time i don't understand the windows 11 stuff like why they change it stuff like show yep yeah <laughs> you can go to show and if you are using a uh, window 10 there's a maybe icon at here then you press that and there you find then files active tick box just press on that and if you are using windows 11 like me go press just view then show and then you can add this that just tick that hidden file enable so then your all file will be activated so then go to program files then here you find the java and here you find the jdk 3.1.1 then double click and open then go to bins folder and just copy this location and then you need to paste that at here also you need to do the same process for your path location okay here you find some at here too so just paste that here too then also you need to do the system variables also you find java home so just set up at here too and also in a path okay so just add and or if you if you don't find your path or java home so just click on a new just just make it manually okay and if you want to check that i that is properly set up or not you can write some cmd so just search cmd and then write java then give a space then give a minus then word as shown ah, t i maybe maybe i'm not sure oh sorry maybe i read something wrong uh java version yep version you need to write not t-i-o-n you need to write i-o-n okay you need to just remove the t i don't know why so why you use the t version spell however <clears throat> so here as you can see it's saying that yeah 1.8.0 uh, 302 is showing that 302 because is, i don't know why it show 302 but it show okay and here is all your four requirement is done now the five number requirement you need to just run some sdk and you can jdk yeah you need to run some 
So what you need to do, just go to your engine where you saved your engine. In my case, I saved my engine in my DDX because it's also a SSD. Uh, it has lots of pieces, that's why I always separate my engine. I keep my epic data in some other DX. As you can see, it have the epic data, but it don't have the epic, uh, the asset pack data. In my epic pack, asset pack data, I just transfer that in another folder that is where you crash. So you know, I just do some organized. However, at here, three by um, just open your Unreal Engine. Uh, folder then go to engine then at here you find basically the extra just open that then you find the android just double click and open and here you find the android setup then update a link just run them nothing else you just do enter 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 and once you do that here all problem will be gone now your engine is ready to rock and roll then make sure you give a restart because you do lots of changes you do system variables you do you know blah blah lots of stuff so now you need to give a restart so once you give it restart, then you can create a project. Let's create a simple project, the third person. Then let's create it for mobile and let's give it that stability. And I don't install the content, so I'm just removing. Let's give it that mobile. Uh, mobile. Oh, what I get? Mobile game. Okay, I'm just giving it name mobile game. Then simply click on create. Now once you create that project, you need to do also some stuff or to do some change on your engine also so let me show you which type of changing you need to do the first thing what you need to do just go to edit then go to project settings and once you go to project settings then you need to go to scroll down at here you find the window just choose that and first thing you need to change that default rs2 change it to default and once you do that and then go to compiler version and choose that to 2019 and once you do that then go to android sdk at here you find like this the first thing you need to choose your sdk location okay so for pick up the sdk location you need to just double uh, pick just click on this then go to c drive then you find the user you need to find the user then user then here you find the app data that is the hidden file make sure that you enable the hidden file access and double click then go to local and at here you find the android just double click on pin and here it, this is your sdk folder just pick okay then same for the uh ndk2 because that is inside of the sdk so <laughs> you can do the same stuff like user user app data local android sdk and here you find the ndk folder just choose that and for the JDK, some of cases maybe your PC support the jar that is Java Jarbin. So like just go to C drive, then program files, then you need to go to Java. And at here you can choose some of uh, for users the JDK work. So you can choose the JDK folder. And if you saying still see uh, seeing that not working, so you can choose the jar file. So you can choose that one too and select it will be work. Then make sure you choose that last API version is 21. And guys, that's all. You don't need to do anything more. Simply click on restart, and your project is now ready to rock and low roll. And your project will be export. Some of cases, it will be maybe show you some issue, kind of like blah 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 stuff. Okay, like let me show you what kind of issue can be show. Like here, maybe some of cases first time it will be show that Android icon will not come. The second time will become even third time it will also not come. But fourth time, once you give restart and you set up everything properly, you find something like that. Then you can export so you can just simply click on uh, package project then you can choose any where you want just simply click with select folder and it will be start export your game okay so if you're seeing that oh okay fine everything is working so just give yourself that congratulation yep you today like you fix all the stuff now you can export your game for android without any issue I already show you all these steps what you need to do properly I show you that everything which stuff which component and at why you find all this stuff I already show you also I try to give you the Android studio link and JDK link so you can check in my description link below so I guess this will help you to just you know just click and download nothing else you need to do uh, maybe you need to go uh, visit their website <laughs> okay that's all so as you can see now it's start exporting and it will be can take some time because for if you do first time it will be maybe take 10 to 20 minutes to first time set up because at here unreal engine download lots of sdk and component and at here if you see something text like this like this uh telling that downloading permission library generating etc etc it means that your apk is 99 percent done so it's now just generating the apk 
so just wait and you'll be see that a successful package you know that successfully package a message so just wait and it will just take some time okay little bit i already did a one time export that's why it will be not show for me too much time and also it will be depend on your pc also like which type of component you have like if you have a gpu like rtx until i9 12 gen so it will not take too much time like i have seen so as you can see it's successfully built so it's saying that yep everything is great done now if i open uh, let me show you up here sorry i'm using two monitors so that's right now uh, so at here just go to music folder and at here you can see here's my mobile apk and make sure if i go to properties this is the apk file and this is my obb file okay so at here like this so at like this you can properly do the export so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next tutorial video